Bullying. It's an unchecked problem that happens usually in middle school or high school. The educational system doesn't really take it seriously, undermining the mental effects it has on children, both the bullied and the bully. When I was a kid, I was somewhat of a bully myself, although not in the traditional sense in which physical harm is inflicted, but a bully nonetheless. We do stupid things as children, and that's okay. We make mistakes, where it be due to immaturity or an underdeveloped sense of right and wrong. Some people don't grow up. They continue to be bullies even as adults. And bullying can take many forms, whether it be domestic abuse or mental torment. They are the villains in real life. But on the other hand, there are the people that are capable of change, people who can still grow and see the errors of their past selves, choosing to become better people. There's this manga I read by Horikoshi Kohei called My Hero Academia. The story is about a fantasy earth where people manifested superpowers called quirks. You might have heard of it. And there's a particular character in that story that a sizable chunk of the fandom hates. A bully by the name of Katsuki Bahugo. Bahugo is the main character in the story who acts as a rival and ally to the protagonist, Izuku Midoriya. Both him and Midoriya are childhood friends, closely growing up together, but at a young age, due to being gifted with an amazing quirk that people around him praise non-stop, Bahugo developed a superiority complex. At first, Bahugo only saw Midoriya as a weakling that follows him around because Midoriya never manifested a quirk making him as what people in that story would call quirkless believing that he is above Midoriya, so when Midoriya tries to help him at all, he sees it as being underestimated. He couldn't accept the help of someone who was below him because he's made to believe that he's a special kind of person that can stand on their own without the help of other people, much less people he saw as weak. Obviously, it's a very flawed mindset. But Bakugo was a kid who didn't know better, and you'd be surprised at how many kids nowadays think that way, or has a similar way of thinking. That's why we have to nourish them, put them on the right path, the same way All Might along with the other teachers of UA are doing towards all their students. I'm not saying that the people who hate what Bakugo did to Midoriya during their early years are wrong. Bahugo said some atrocious things to Midoriya, even to the point of telling him to kill himself. But think about every edgy kid you've encountered in your life. They also say the most edgy things like kill yourself and that's what Bahugo was during middle school. An edgy teen who's way over his head. Although you can't deny that as soon as Midoriya saved Bahugo from the sludge villain, he was already starting to learn. To reflect on how he has been behaving. Midoriya even stated that Bahago didn't bother him much for the rest of middle school. Now, these aren't the biggest of change of personality ever. He's still an asshole throughout the beginning of the series, but there are subtle changes throughout. The changes become more evident after All Might use of all of One for All to save Bahugo, with Bahugo blaming himself for All Might's end, and he wants to fight Deku as a way to vent out all of his pent of self-hate his superiority complex rumbling down as the hero he looked up to lost his powers just to save him. All because Bahugo, in his own eyes, was too weak. This fight was his own way of asking Midoriya for help because as much as he thinks he hates Midoriya at the time, he is still his childhood friend. The only person he's comfortable enough to confide in, the person he trusted the most, something that he had mentioned during the recent chapters in the manga. This is purely my opinion but I think Bahugo in a way thought that somehow Midoriya can save him from his own thoughts. And you know what? I think Midoriya did save Bahugo during that fight. This is when Bahugo is finally let in on the secret and one for all. In my opinion, this fight, the, the resolution, everything about it is beautiful and perfect. The fight is called Meaningless Battle in the manga and it may seem like that on the surface but the subtle themes throughout the fight are so strong. The emotions are presented as raw. This is the first time Bahugo and Midoriya ever talked about their feelings and Horikoshi couldn't have made this any better. It is far from being meaningless at all as it is one of the most meaningful battles ever in the manga and in the anime or in the series in general. And I love that the only stake is Bahugo and Deku's relationship. 
This is one of the parts of the series that I think the anime did better than the manga. The voice acting of Bahugo in both English and Japanese is superb, and the animation is just beautiful. After that fight, Bakugo went on to help Midoriya hone one for all. In a way, he also inherited one for all, its burden and its purpose. Speaking of both Midoriya and Bakugo, the literal and spiritual inheritors of one for all, they are also both actually the reason for All Might's end. Think about it. All Might was already losing his power because Midoriya inherited it. Saving Bakugo from the villains was just the final nail in the coffin. Both Midoriya and Bahugo are the end of All Might, but also the new beginning of One For All. During this time and up until the recent chapters, Bahugo didn't really change much in personality. He's still loud and aggressive, but somehow he's become wiser, kinder even. Bahugo was growing up, becoming more mature. He was a different person than he was at the beginning, but all the changes are subtle which is an interesting dynamic to his more loud and explosive demeanor. That's a word I mentioned a lot, subtle, because that's just why people still fail to see Bahugo, the former bully, has already been redeemed from his past actions. He's already apologizing to Midoriya for being a bad friend the past couple of years by subtle actions instead of words, helping Midoriya master one for all and being a better friend in general to Midoriya. And you know the best part? Midoriya never thought bad of Bakugo. He never reprimanded him for his bullying. He has already forgiven Bahugo because that's just how good of a person Midoriya is, and yet Bahugo is still doing what he can to atone regardless. And this is why I think Midoriya and Bahugo are best of friends. Beyond influence and beyond hate, both willing to risk their lives to save one another, saving people to win and winning to save people. Hey everyone, if you made it up until now, then thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, then it w I would appreciate it if you left a like. And, uh, well, sir, subscribe for more videos, I guess? <laughs> How many videos do I do anyway? <laughs> I, can't, I can't keep a consistent schedule. But, uh, I'll try to do more this next year, I guess. 2021, here we go! So yeah, I wanted. I hope I can finish this before the year ends. Uh, I'm recording this right now, December 23, so I still have about a week left. So yeah, I hope you enjoy that, and I just wanted to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year because this is gonna be the last video I'm gonna be posting since you know I don't. I'm not really the most consistent uploader on YouTube, but yeah. Uh, I hope it made you think about things. If you still hate Bahugo, then go ahead. Uh, we can just agree to disagree. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I can. Uh, you have reasons on why you'd hate Bahugo, but please, if you can, give Bahugo a chance. He's really trying to change. I think. Yeah, he is. He is. He is changing. Please. So yeah, uh, I I I just love these two characters, Deku. And Bahugo, well, I should really call Bahugo by his hero name now, Dynamite. I really love Dynamite and Deku. They're, uh, gosh, I would, I would give my life to protect those two. If they were real people, but they're not, so thank God, because I don't have to uh, give my life, because right now they're in a state of, oh, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> anyway, this is the longest outro ever. Thank you for watching, and have a nice rest of the year. <laughs> Goodbye.